What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about the Alabama rig that's going to change the game. So today we're going to talk about the new A rig from Stealth Lures called the Stealth Rig. And as you guys can see, it is not your typical rig. It's clear and this is probably going to be the last rig you ever buy. Before we hop into the features of this bait, I want to give my buddy Saxon a big shout out. He is the one that's actually created this lure. Um, he's been prototyping with it for a while. I've been able to use one before and I got my hands on one early before it officially launches in March. Alright guys, so we're going to hop into the features on this rig and obviously the first thing you guys see is it's clear. Um, he has a clear body as a head for this thing right here that has a swivel in it and the arms are actually made out of what to me seems like weed eater line but as I said earlier this will be the last rig you ever buy because this is the most durable rig on the market bar none and the reason that the stealth rig is one of the most durable on the market is because of the design feature of it and what it's made out of you take a standard Alabama rig for example you bend this wire that wire is obviously very kinked and it creates a weak point in it. Same as when you bend the wire at the head right here, it creates a weak point in this wire. So, you know, you can take this up, you can wad it up and everything, and it's gonna, it's gonna lose its shape. You're gonna have bends on it, you have fish catching, and it also hangs up on itself when you get it hung up or fish catch or whatever. With the stealth rig, as you guys can see, I can bend this completely up, wad it in a ball, and it comes right back into shape. And like I said, they have been prototyping with this bait for a very long time, over five or six years worth of pro prototyping and testing and everything to get this thing perfect. And there was one rig uh, that a buddy of mine, no joke, caught over 2,000 fish on before he lost the rig. He didn't, he didn't break the rig, he actually lost it and couldn't get it unhung. A few more key features on the Stealth Rig is it's actually made out of premium components, the uh, components and stuff, the blades, the swivels, the snaps, they're all very high quality. Um, also, one of my favorite things is it has a swivel in the head, so it helps eliminate line twist, and it just helps the bait fish a lot easier. And also, the head of this A-Rig is a scent chamber. Uh, it has a couple little holes in it that you can actually put garlic scent in, bait fuel, anything that you want to put scent in you can put it inside of this head chamber and it can last you know 15 20 30 casts and i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to put scent in this head all right guys i'm going to show you guys how to put scent into the scent chamber or the head of the stealth rig uh, what i find best that works is actually bait fuel I'm not sponsored by bait fuel bait fuel hit me up i uh, love your product i really do think it works I also like garlic as well, but you'll also need a eyedropper. It just actually helps you actually get it in there a lot easier and makes a lot less mess. So basically just going to suck up a little bit of bait fuel. And then the hard part, especially when it's cold and everything like it is here right now, you're just going to push it into one of those holes. As I'm covering it up, you guys can't see that at all. But as you can see, there's a hole right there. There's there's six holes on this head, and he's gonna push it in there. Get a little bit more. Make a big old mess. Another hole right there and I popped off by accident and there's actually a decent amount of bait fuel in it but that's the best way to do it. It can get a little messy. I wish the holes were a little bit bigger, but if you made them bigger, then you wouldn't have scent lasting very long. All right, guys, so we're gonna get into the setup and what I like to throw this on. The rig itself is very light. It's lighter than just about anything out there on the market for Alabama rigs. 
So with that being said, you do not have to have a real big beefy rod to throw this thing on. So what I like is actually a 7.3 Heavy, but this rod right here has a lot more tip than most other rods. So it's more like a medium heavy with a little bit more backbone. So you don't really have to throw this on like a real big flipping stick or anything like that. A good frogging rod is actually very good. As for reel, there are actually two reels I like to use. It just depends on how I'm fishing it and what the really how the bite has been. And those reels are like a high six or a very low seven, like a seven one to one. I like it because I can slow it down if I need to, let it crawl on the bottom, just just above the bottom, and I can also burn and make that rig pulse very good in the water with a low seven gear ratio reel. And as for my biggest thing with throwing an Alabama rig is I throw it on fluorocarbon and I throw it on 20 or 17 pound. I prefer 20 pound, just give me a little bit more security there uh, when I'm throwing this thing all day. This rig is still heavier than most lures you'll be throwing so you have a little extra security with 20 pound. Fluorocarbon because the rig is clear and I've actually seen it first person, somebody throwing braid and I was throwing fluorocarbon and I caught five fish to one and I believe that could be one of the reasons why this rig right here gets more bites than a standard wire rig is because it's more transparent, translucent, it kind of blends in the water a little bit more and it can actually look like those little glass minnows that they eat every now and then. And as for the rig itself, the swim baits I like to throw, 3.3 Kitex. Tried and true, thrown them forever. Um, the heads that I like to use uh, in Tennessee and BFLs and everything else, you're only allowed three hooks, uh, three heads. So I run one eighth ounce heads for anything less than like 15 foot, or yeah, anything less than 15 foot. If I'm going deeper than that, I step it up to three sixteenths or quarter. Uh, these right here happen to be the six cents axle swing head jigs. I think that's what they're called. Um, it's great for like weedless rigs. I feel like you get a little bit better um, hookup ratio than the standard belly weight because that, that weight is out of the way. If I'm not throwing a weedless version, I'm throwing a homemade eighth ounce. It's the poison tail mode of my do it modes. And I just put a little three alt hook in it, straight shank hook, and it actually works phenomenal for that. But a real quick rundown on the rod line reel setup. Once again, 7.3 heavy. This rod has a little bit more tip, but any 7.3 Heavy will be very good. 20 pound fluorocarbon and a low seven gear ratio reel. So you can burn if you need to and you can still crawl it on the bottom. But very soon, Saxon, the creator of this rig, he will be having his website available for pre-order and the link to that website will be down below. Um, if you are local to East Tennessee, in particular the Knoxville area, and you want to pre-order, you can actually pre-order at McKee Outdoors in Maryville. And also, we, ha we don't have it set up yet, but we are supposed to be having a discount code through my channel. If you guys will look on the link below, I will have it off to the side in parentheses, just letting you guys know what my link is. And the Stealth Rig actually made its debut at the East Tennessee Fishing Show uh, this past week and he had 125 rigs and they were sold in less than five minutes uh, it was pretty crazy they sold out before i even got there but thankfully they had me one put back for this video and for me to test out and everything else i'll actually have a fish catch at the end of this video for you guys to watch and you can actually you know see the rig actually in action it actually pulses very good and everything like that so it's a very good rig i'm not bull crapping you guys i promise you it's very very good very very quality rig and it flat out catches them we're going to have some videos dropping where we where we catch them on this thing so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already check out stealth lures down below and until next time catch them big Got one. That's a good one. There we go. That's a solid two and a half pounder. Look at that. Stealth rig.
Hopefully it's recording. It is. Stealth rig for you. That ain't quite two and a half. It's two and a quarter. He's two all day. <laughs>